Hey, Tom. How you doing? Now, tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, who you are, and uh, why you're flying airplanes around. Well, I'm an old pilot that just started when he was, got my license when I was 70. Been flying for seven years. Built this plane. It had a 110 Viking in it when I started. And uh, had it for about four years. And I decided to upgrade to the 130. It's considerably uh, a different plane now. It flies Well, a little... tell us about when you flew with the 110. Uh, it was also by Viking, right? It was by Viking as well. And okay. Just fine, stable engine. Uh, no vibration, no noise. Uh, quite dependable. The 130 just seemed to have a little more horsepower and a little bit more modern engine parts, so I decided to upgrade to it. Okay, uh, and now that's been done, so uh, maybe explain to people exactly what we did. Well, we we replaced everything from here forward. Uh, cowling, engine, propeller, spinner, uh, radiator. It's, it's a total package and uh, had a test flight just a few minutes ago and everything just worked perfect. Okay, and then uh, you did uh, your flight, and then uh, uh, people from Vikings been flying it for a little bit. Get uh, get the hours up for that five-hour fly-off, so that you can uh, can go home today. I'm looking forward to it. Your Viking put in all day yesterday test flying, and I get to fly today. Yeah, and your flight today. Uh, what was your experience like? Oh, it's wonderful, wonderful, cloudy. I mean, nice, nice, clear day. No, no thermals. I can't wait to get up and fly home. This is going to be great. Okay, and as far as the exact difference between the 110 and the 130, like from today's experience being up there, what did you notice? Well, I noticed it uh, actually has considerable more horsepower than I thought it would. It's got, it, it gets off the ground quicker, uh, responds better. Uh, if anything, at idle, it still keeps flying. <laughs> the 110, when I put it to idle, actually started losing quite a bit of altitude. This one you've got to anticipate that it doesn't, right. doesn't quite drift down as fast as a 110. All right. So, but that's just, you have to do that, that's experience. All right, well, it's been wonderful to have you here. We had a good time working together on this project, and then uh, we'll hear from you when you get back home. I'll definitely give you a call when I get home. All right, very good. Go up for your test flight. So now um, I have, Jan, I've flown the airplane a few times and put hours on it and it's been running real well and Tom's gonna do some flying this morning prior to returning uh, back to North Carolina. Tom Neal departing with his uh, 6, 650 Zenith and a Viking 130. That was the sound of a Viking 130 coming by at about 30 feet away. It's a very quiet engine.
Tom Neal flying is uh, seen at 650 with the uh, Viking 130 up front. Tom Neal's got cross country pitch setting on his 650. His uh, cross country RPM is uh, 4,500 and still doing 120. Of course, 130 is at slightly more RPM and then 145. Is 